a group mind, hive mind, group ego, mind coalescence, or gestalt intelligence in science fiction is a plot device in which multiple minds, or consciousnesses, are linked into a single, collective consciousness or intelligence. Its use in literature goes back at least as far as Olaf Stapledon's science fiction novel Last and First Men 1930. A group mind might be formed by any fictional plot device that facilitates brain-to-brain -brain communication, such as telepathy. This term may be used interchangeably with hive mind. A hive mind describes a group mind in which the linked individuals have no identity or free will and are possessed, mind controlled as extensions of the hive mind. It is frequently associated with the concept of an entity that spreads among individuals and suppresses or subsumes their consciousness in the process of integrating them into its own collective consciousness. The concept of the group or hive mind is an intelligent version of real-life superorganisms such as an ant colony or beehive. <laughs> List of hive minds As conceived in speculative fiction, hive minds often imply almost complete loss or lack of individuality, identity, and personhood. The individuals forming the hive may specialize in different functions, similarly to social insects. Topic: <laughs> Books Topic literature The extraterrestrial hive mind named Medusa in The Cosmic Rape also known as To Marry Medusa by Theodore Sturgeon. The Children in the Midwich Cuckoos adapted as Village of the Damned by John Wyndham. The Choya in the Empire Trilogy by Raymond E. Feist and Janie Wirtz. The Bebebeck in Larry Niven's The Draco Tavern. The bicameral order of posthuman monks who have integrated science as religion. In Peter Watt's novel Echopraxia, the Boti Bits in the Saga of Cuckoo by Frederick Pohl and Jack Williamson. The bugs in Robert A. Heinlein's Starship Troopers. They include workers, warriors, brains, and queens, however, the films and subsequent TV series feature several other casts. The Coalescent Hives in Stephen Baxter's Destiny's Children series. The compositions such as the Bilipotent Composition in The Golden Age and its sequels. The Comprise in Michael Swanwick's Vacuum Flowers. The callings in Peter V Brett's Demon Cycle can be controlled by Corelling Princes. The Dark Ones in Metro 2033. The Drummers in Neil Stevenson's The Diamond Age. The Formics or Buggers in Orson Scott Card's Ender's Game series Ender's Game, Speaker for the Dead, Xenocide, and Children of the Mind. Gaia in Foundation's Edge by Isaac Asimov. The Hive Mind in John G. Kramer's novel Einstein's Bridge. The Hive Mind in Neil Asher's novel The Skinner. The Howlers in K. A. Applegate's books Animorphs in the series, The Howlers have a collective memory. The Joined in the Light of Other Days by Arthur C. Clarke and Stephen Baxter. The Killix in the Dark Nest Trilogy by Troy Denning. The Magit in the novel Serpent's Reach by C. J. Cherry. Man in the Last Question by Isaac Asimov. Mycroft Ward in Stephen Hall's The Raw Shark Texts. The Network in Brian Faulkner's Brain Jack. The Phoners in Cell by Stephen King. The Precogs in the Minority Report by Philip K. Dick and its film adaptation. The Taurans and, later, Man in the Forever War by Joe Haldeman, Man in Forever Free. The Raxor in Dark Swarm by Patrick Olegide are a polymorphic insect race controlled by a hive mind known as the Silent One or the Queen of Queens. Rook Gestalt in the Rook novel by Daniel O'Malley is a group of four siblings who are controlled by a single individual intelligence. The Overmind and the Evolving Children, in Childhood's End by Arthur C. Clarke. The Overlords in Dante D'Antoni's Tales from the Pandoran Age. Palador in Rescue Party by Arthur C. Clarke. The Findon from the Star Wars, Jedi Apprentice book series by Dave Wolverton and Jude Watson. 
The sand beasts in Del Toro quests the shifting sands. The shub in Simon R. Green's Deathstalker series. The Squeam in the Zeely sequence Future History by Stephen Baxter, a group-minded aquatic race, and the first extrasolar intelligence contacted by mankind. The Swarm in Bruce Sterling's short story of the same name in Schismatrix. The Swarm in Michael Crichton's novel Prey. The Tines in a Fire Upon the Deep by Verna Vinge, a lone individual is like a dog, a pack of about four to seven is equivalent to a human adult, in larger numbers they become confused, often non-sapient. The Tear in C. S. Friedman's The Madness Season. Igramal in The Neverending Story by Michael Ender. The Yrr in The Swarm by German author Frank Schatzing. The Vaud in Codex Alira by Jim Butcher The Emperor in a Confusion of Princes by Garth Nix Comics The Brood comics, a species of alien within the Marvel Universe. Gar Lactus, the ultimate Marvel version of Galactus, is depicted as a massive swarm of city-sized robots forming a collective mind. The Partnership Collective in Howard Taylor's Schlock Mercenary. The Phalanx in Marvel Universe. The Supreme Intelligence of the Kree in Marvel Universe. The Stepford Cuckoos in Marvel Comics X-Men series. The Uni Mind formed by the Eternals in the Marvel Universe. The Thousand in Spider Man. The Xandarian World Mind in the Marvel Universe. <laughs> Manga The Akatsuki leader Nagato in the Naruto series via using special rods to transmit his consciousness into six corpses that he controls while his real body is hidden at a safe distance. In the Pocket Monsters special Diamond and Pearl Saga, the members of Team Galaxia share a hive mind that controls their moves and actions. Media. Topic: Animation. The Heart of Atlantis in Walt Disney Feature Animation Atlantis: The Lost Empire. The Little Green Men (LGMs) from Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. The Skraldians in Men in Black. The series are psychically linked. If one of their kind is killed, the others immediately know about it and who did it. The Alien Invaders in Godzilla, the series. The Delightful Children from Down the Lane in Codename, Kids Next Door. Unity, Beta 7 and Million Ants in Rick and Morty. The Monkey Splooge Beings in Family Guy. Lazarus 92 in Samurai Jack. <laughs> anime. The anti-spirals in Tengen Topa Gurren Lagann are a group mind, having foregone their individuality to stop evolution. The final battle of the series is against a being representing their collective minds. The Invid race in Robotech. The Lilin, the whole mankind in the anime series Neon Genesis Evangelion. The Central, an alternative dimensional evolution of humankind in line barrels of iron. In Psycho Pass, the Sybil system in charge of controlling society is made up of human brains linked together to form a supercomputer. The Verm in Darling in the Fran XX. <laughs> Films the Alien Children in the 1960 film Village of the Damned and its 1995 remake, as well as its sequel, Children of the Damned 1963. The Xenomorph Race in Alien 1979 and its many sequels. Nesta, from the Roger Corman film Battle Beyond the Stars 1980. The Ghostly Twins 
In The Matrix Reloaded 2003, the machines in the Matrix trilogy form a seemingly connected mind, especially at the end of the Matrix Revolutions, where they coalesce into a face to speak to Neo. The children in Clive Barker's The Plague 2006. The thirteen crystal skeletons in Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, all separate knowledge-bearing entities that ultimately merge to become a single alien being. 2008. AWA is formed by a complex neural network composed of many organisms on the moon Pandora, in the film Avatar 2009. The team of motorcycle Autobots in Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen 2009, known as RC including RC, Chromia, and Alita One share a hive mind. The Kaiju from Pacific Rim film share a hive mind. The scientist Newton Geisler creates a machine which allows him to create a mental link with a kaiju brain fragment, however the result is that it attracts two kaiju, Leatherback and Otachi which attack Shanghai, China. This mental link allows Newton to view the memories of the kaiju and find out more about them. The Formics or Buggers in the film Ender's Game 2013, the Omega in Edge of Tomorrow film 2014 People infected by the slugs from Slither film also acted as a hive mind Topic Television series The Bringers of the First Evil in Buffy the Vampire Slayer The X7 Transgenics in the Dark Angel series the Cybermen and Cyberiad, the Ood, the Rutan Host, the Universal Mind, and the Toklafane in Doctor Who. The Delightful Children from Down the Lane in Code Name, Kids Next Door. The Replicators in Stargate SG-1 are linked via subspace, but each Replicator has its own corner of the space where it can think privately without the others knowing what it thinks. This, however, may be exclusive to the human form replicators. The Bebe robots in Kim Possible. The Borg in Star Trek. The Borg Queen takes a coordinator role. The drones, although having group consciousness, have species identifications and individual designations. Some Borg unconsciously retain their identities in Unimatrix Zero. The Strigoi in the Strain TV series on FX. The Inhuman known as Hive, who is possessing Grant Ward's corpse, in Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., is a parasite that can infect other Inhumans, and forms a hive mind with them. Unity, a hive mind who appeared in the Rick and Morty episode, Autoerotic Assimilation. Unity, an alien parasite that tried to infect the world in Superman, the animated series. Jasmine uses Hive Mind in the fourth season of Angel. ALIE in the 100. Stranger Things Netflix series uses Hive Mind in season 2 The Mind Flayer or Shadow Monster. Legion a Gestalt Entity, Red Dwarf series 6 episode 2. Topic. Games Topic Role playing games The Darkspawn in Dragon Age Origins, led by an archdemon. Players can drink the blood of a Darkspawn, and it will either kill them, drive them mad, or give them the ability to sense the Darkspawn, and the archdemon. Groups of cranium rats in the Planescape campaign setting for the Dungeons and Dragons role playing game. The Modron and the Formian of Dungeons and Dragons. The Krimborg in the Kingdom of Loathing. The Borg in Star Trek Online. The Tyranids in Warhammer 40,000. Topic video games The Aperoids in Star Fox, Assault. The Beast in Homeworld, Cataclysm. The Sea Consciousness in Russian in Stalker, Shadow of Chernobyl. The CABAL's Cyborg Army in the Command and Conquer, Tiberian Sun's Firestorm Expansion Pack. The Dark People in the Longest Journey and Dreamfall. 
The Omar in Deus Ex, Invisible War. The Destroyers in Guild Wars, Eye of the North. The Flood Parasite in Halo series kill and revive victims, stripping needed information from the brain. The Flood's collective consciousness manifests as a grave mind, or compound mind. The Necromorph Hive Mind in Dead Space. The Kara in Natural Selection. The Kitten in Mortal Kombat. The Clacken in the Master of Orion series. The Lambent in the Gears of War series. The Blacklight infected in the video game prototype. The Many in System Shock 2. The ORZ in Star Control 2. The Overmind in the first person shooter Tremulous. Planet in Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri. Multiple races in the Mass Effect universe, most prominently the Rachni. The Reapers are sapient starships each composed of billions of organic minds. Sovereign, the vanguard of the Reaper fleet, addresses this by stating we the Reapers are each a nation. The Collectors appear to have little or no consciousness of their own, being thralls to the Reaper known as Harbinger. The Shibito in the Siren series. The Skrit in Guild Wars 2. An individual script is able to think for itself, however, is extremely unintelligent and vulnerable prey. However, the more script you get together in a group, the more intelligent each member of the group becomes. In theory, an entire city of script could be the most intelligent species in the game. Superhot in Superhot the Tuern Gate in the Penumbra game series. The Ulic race in Starflight. The Vex in Destiny. The X parasite organisms in Metroid Fusion kill and revive their living victims to turn them into zombies like beings. The war wasps in Metroid Prime culminate in a gigantic hive mind called the Hive Mecha in an attempt to prevent Samus Aran from receiving the missile launcher upgrade. The Zerg swarm in the StarCraft series is controlled by the Overmind and, later, Sarah Kerrigan. The Zoni in Ratchet and Clank Future, a crack in time. CEPH of the Crisis series. Corvus and humans with a direct neural interface in Call of Duty, Black Ops 3, causing the dead to coexist in the frozen forest as long as they have an active direct neural interface. In Stellaris, you are able to play as a Gestalt Consciousness civilization. The beta from the MUV Love franchise. The Infested in Warframe. The Gestalt Consciousness in Stellaris. <laughs> Unsorted The Borok in the Lego Bionicle Saga are controlled by Krana, which link up in a hive mind. The Harrower in the game Gloomhaven is made up of one thousands of insects, which together have intelligence via a hive mind. The Pokémon Execute is made up of multiple eggs that have a hive mind, controlled by the largest egg. The Primes in Peter F. Hamilton's Commonwealth Saga. The Rat King in the Ballad of Halo Jones and in Terry Pratchett's The Amazing Maurice and His Educated Rodents. The Slivers in Magic, The Gathering Storyline. They appear first on Wrath but are seen again under the Battle of Otaria, and once more during the temporal chaos of Time Spiral. Slivers take the hive mind idea a step further, instead of sharing just a consciousness, they also share physical attributes, such as breathing fire, regenerating, growing wings, or an extra claw. They gain these attributes by being in close proximity to another. The Tachyons in Godzilla, the series. The XAR Gothwa in Zombie not only share thoughts with each other, but each one can be reborn into a new XAR or even a group of three by the Sin Jethoth. It is assumed this can also be done to their cousins, the She Thindri and the Tenth NT Hog. Quartermass and the Pit. Star Maker. Topic. List of non-hive group minds A group mind that is not a hive mind, the individuals retain their identities and free will, and can join or sever from the group mind of their own volition. 
Some examples can have characteristics of both a hive mind and group mind. There is not always a clear-cut dividing line. Some Star Trek Borg drones such as Seven of Nine have been forcibly split from the collective. The Monikans, a mysterious group of assassins in the movie Eon Flux, are able to secretly communicate with each telepathically, enabled by appeal. As it is not explained, it might also be possible that the message is carried via the pill in a way that the recipient might be able to interact, allowing the simple two-way dialogue that occurred in the second message. The advent in sins of a solar empire are subspecies of humans that is in constant mental contact with one another. The hyper-evolved Arisians of Doc. Smith's Lensman series can form multi-mind fusions, as can highly trained Lensmen. The founders changelings in Star Trek are individuals, but form a group mind while connected in the Great Link. The Mind Whisper project in Dollhouse A group of telepathic child prodigies in Theodore Sturgeon's More Than Human A group of telepathic child prodigies in Howard Fast's The First Men the conjoiners in Alastair Reynolds's Revelation Space, Chasm City, Redemption Arc, Absolution Gap, and short stories. They retain their identities, but communicate via implants and act as a group. The Edenists in Peter F. Hamilton's The Night's Dawn trilogy remain individuals, but rely on telepathic empathy for emotional support, personal stability, and colony wide referendums on major decisions. The Fold, a wireless network of nanites infecting humans and superhumans in Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2, altering the mind of the infected, leaving personality intact while changing all goals and desires to match those of the Fold, with the infected not realizing it. The Geth in Mass Effect and Mass Effect 2, although individual platforms not near other Geth, will be feral rather than sentient. Gaia and Galaxia in Isaac Asimov's Foundation series Kithkin from Wizards of the Coast's card game Magic the Gathering. They have their identities intact but are linked by Thoughtweft, which binds their feelings. The little people of Robert A. Heinlein's Methuselah's children, the individual memories of the original bodies are retained. The Martians of a Miracle of Science use brain-to-brain -brain FTL communication, they do not lose their individuality despite being members of the group mind. The Strangers in the film Dark City, a group of aliens who experiment on humans in search for their soul. Although each stranger seems to be an individual, they can combine their psychokinetic powers to work the citywide machine, have a hive memory set and have a library of human memories which their doctor can combine to create a new memory. The goal of the strangers is to obtain human individuality. The pods in Singularities Ring by Paul Melko consist of up to five people each contributing their individual capabilities and strengths. Humanity is approaching unity with the existing galactic group mind in Julian May's Galactic Milieu series. Operant humans are also able to form smaller, temporary group minds, called metaconcerts with other operants. All of humanity at the end of Neon Genesis Evangelion, after being reduced to LCL. All of humanity in the last episode of Serial Experiments Lane, after everyone is subconsciously connected to each other through an advanced, global, wireless version of the Internet. The Pokémon Doduo, Dodrio, and Exeggutor. Evroniani from the Disney comic series PKNA. The Franklin Collective from Accelerando by Charles Stross. Las Plagas, and, by extension, the Ganados, from Resident Evil 4. The Unity in Hosts by F. Paul Wilson, newly infected members can occasionally break free of the group mind and think for themselves, but are eventually overpowered completely. The Inhabitants of Camazots, from Madeleine Lengel's A Wrinkle in Time, 
to some extent the human beings, according to nature's semi-consciousness, ongoing auto-learning process in nature is seeing a shrink by Lucas Monaco Toledo. The underground also referred to as the joined in the light of other days uses brain-computer interfaces and wormhole communication. The telepathic people of Lys in the City and the Stars by Arthur C. Clarke. The leader of the individual Eleven, Coos, in the anime Ghost in the Shell, SAC. Second Gig communicates with war refugees through their cybernetic implants. By constantly transmitting all his thoughts and feelings to the refugees through the network. Kuz becomes their friend, comrade and leader in their fight to establish a new state. The only difference from a mastermind is that he lets everyone decide, whether to follow his lead or not. The cyberbrains of every cyborg in Ghost in the Shell, revealed even more so in Solid State Society, when Koshiki revealed that every cyborg shared the same consciousness. The Transcendence in Transcendent by Stephen Baxter The Keymasters in Spectrum by Sergei Lukyanenko The Fleet Mind, or Petey, in Schlock Mercenary The Strog from Quake 2 and Quake 4 The Protoss in the StarCraft series share a loose collective consciousness through a mental practice called the Kala. However, they still maintain their individuality. The Varindi, a race, species in the PC game Asheron's Call, are floating, invisible entities that wear physical hooded shrouds mostly tattered shrouds, but some forms of Varindi wear what looks like armor, white masks think Vega from Street Fighter II that have glowing purple eye holes some have red pupils and sometimes have twisted smiles on masks. They fight using magic cropsicles. They are of a singular mind which calls itself the singularity. The Varindi speak only in the plural, i.e., us, we, our, etc. when talking about themselves. Some individuals have broken free of the singularity and are of their own individual consciousness. The Zillit in Final Fantasy XI, an ancient race connected by a kind of mental link they call the Whisper of Souls. Some are born without this link and are fearfully enslaved and forced to wear an amulet that artificially connects them to the Whisper. The Vortigaunts in the Half-Life series share a telepathic communal link. The Stepford Cuckoos from the X-Men comics share a group mind that can split up into its parts. The Agents from the Matrix series. The Assurance from Stargate Atlantis, although their leadership can use the collective to reprogram deviant thoughts, they possess individual personalities beyond this, and can use it to transfer their consciousness to new bodies after their old ones are destroyed. The Babies from Acacia Butterflies. The Cylons from Battlestar Galactica. The Vex machine race in the video game Destiny possess specialized commanders referred to as Axis Minds. These units are used to coordinate planetary troop deployment and terraforming while freeing minor units from complex strategy. The replica soldiers from FEAR Universe are controlled by telepathic commander. The hypotheticals in Robert Charles Wilson's novel Spin, a highly advanced, billions years old galaxy spanning benevolent collective of von Neumann machines. The tailings of the TV series Earth, Final Conflict are connected to each other through the commonality. The residents of the town of Santaroga in Frank Herbert's The Santaroga Barrier. The Silvari race in Guild Wars 2 share a common dream of dreams, through which they learn basic understanding of the world. The werewolves in the Twilight series are able to share thoughts among their own pack. Alpha wolves can also share thoughts with each other, but must think directly at each other. In David Alexander Smith's trilogy of science fiction books, starting with Marathon, the Signan species is revealed in the second book Rendezvous as capable of entering a trance-like state of consciousness with other members of their social unit called a DJAN. 
During this time the DJAN mind becomes aware and is capable of thought, caused by pheromones exchanged amongst the DJAN. The individual signans come away with increased bonding and unconscious affections, but have no cognitive recollection of the experience. In David Alexander Smith's book, In the Cube, the Fenari species are capable of seeing, reenacting, and actually feeling each individual death of past members of its species. The telepathic hydrons of Joan Vinge's Scion and Dreamfall. These vary, the ones in Scion seem more like a continuous fluid consciousness, but described as unusual due to hard circumstances, while the ones in Dreamfall are more recognizably human individuals typically in at least light mental contact with each other. The Patternists in Octavia Butler's novel Patternmaster. The Scub Coral from Eureka 7 The Nexus Children in Ramez Nam's series Nexus the children are able to telepathically communicate with one another and teach each other new information via a nanotech known as Nexus. The main characters in the Netflix series Sense8. Key decisions within an individual fleet in Yoon Ha Lee's Machineries of Empire series may be undertaken by temporary hive mind of generals. Topic. See also Collective consciousness Collective intelligence Deindividuation Global brain Society Superorganism Swarm intelligence Technologically enabled telepathy BCI synthetic telepathy, silent communication Brain-to-brain -brain communication Mentalic <laughs>